and welcome to Tino. My name is Tiffany. I'm class of 2021. My name is Yoto. I'm class of 2022. And we're going to show you around Cupertino High School. Follow us. So first we started in the quad. We're going to take you to the field and some fun stuff. Here are the newly made uh, bike racks. If you bike to school, here is where you would lock your uh, bike. And if you look over here to my right, down here is the literature room hall. You'll, uh, you'll probably have a lit class somewhere here uh, throughout your high school career. And also yearbook and journalism, I think, are also in these classrooms. Over here we have something called the wagon wheel. In this room it's connected to the gym and sometimes you'll have homecoming dance practices and other fun events in there. Over here we have the gym on the left side. Um, that's the entrance to the gym, which, like I said earlier, is connected to the wagon wheel from that door. And over here we have locker rooms. So this is the girls' locker room right here. And at the very end, near the entrance and exit, is the boys' locker room. And uh, if you are uh, taking PE in the hybrid learning setting, you unfortunately can't actually change your clothes in the locker room, so you do have to come to school with uh, something you can use to uh, exercise in. So now we're taking you to where we actually do PE. Um, there's a lower and upper field. So that's where different sports um, practice and sometimes you take PE classes on those fields as well. So as we enter here, this is actually a mask only zone. So you have to have your mask on the whole entire time. You can't eat here, um, not even during brunch or lunch. Over here is the lower field, and over there is the softball field where softball practice and softball games happen. And on the left side is the swimming pool, as well as a little basketball court. Sometimes students like to play um, after school. And this building right here with like the slanted roof. This is the weight room and this is where this basically has a gym in it where you can work out. Uh, sometimes sports will be occupying it, but it is open to any student. And if you look past that weight room, you can see the tennis courts over there. So if you play tennis, I think there's also some racket sports uh, in the PE. So if you play there and all the way over there is the upper field. And on this side, right next to the swimming pool, right. you'll also see the field house. Some, some sports play in there, like badminton and pickleball when you do it during PE. So yeah, this is your home if you're an athlete. And here we see the brand new renovated science building. It's so beautiful, so majestic. Uh, most of your science classes in high school will be here, ranging from bio, physics, chem, environmental science. A lot of your classes will be here. And then right over here to my left is the TA room. Say hi to the Lord of the Rings characters. When you do, uh, if you do want to become a TA for science, this is usually where you'll do, be doing your work. Also, fun fact, all of the science classes are connected through this little area right here. So if you're a TA, you'll be able to kind of jump around to different classrooms if need be. And over here is the opposite side of the science building. We see a little turf field. Students like to hang out here at brunch and lunch. Um, yeah, 
Yodo, do you want to tell them about the tradition here? Right, so there's a tradition that if you roll down that hill on your side in freshman year, you're going to have straight A's for the rest of your high school career. So I better see some of you going down that hill, rolling on your side for those straight A's. So if we keep moving, on my right hand side is going to be a one-way hallway, which basically means that at certain periods of at certain times of the day, uh, this will be one way this way or one way this, uh, the other way. And this is true of other hallways as well on the other side. So we'll explain it again once we get there. Over here we have the 6,000, 7,000 buildings. This is a new building that was created about three years ago. One thing I really do like about these new buildings are the chairs. The chairs are super comfy. Uh, they have, so they sometimes have wheels on them so you can roll around. Um, yeah. And one thing I like about this building is that it's all made of glass. So if you are one day bored in your class, you can just look out the window. Um, there's a beautiful view on the other side, but there's also beautiful views down here because classmates will be walking these halls. And if you look, we have these wonderful, wonderful staircases that connect the ground floor to the second floor. And during hybrid learning, uh, these staircases will most likely be one way. So you can either only go up or only go down in certain staircases. And of course, there are bathrooms in this new building. So over here, we have two bathrooms on the lower floor and then two on the upper. And a few little cave looking things that you see. Those are bathrooms, not caves. And we have a lot of construction going on right now. So if you see any of the gates, just um, Try to steer clear of them, so we'll be going around that. And we see these one-way hallways. Uh, like I mentioned before, at certain times of the day, it'll be going one way, and at certain times of the day, it'll, it might be going the other way. Over here is a building that we like to call the math wing. So you have a lot of math classes in this wing. And there are some Spanish classes on that side. That is the 900 building, this is the 400 building. So if you have classes on your schedule that say 400 or 900, you are in the math wing. These classrooms will also be uh, some AVID or other uh, supplementary classes that you, uh, if you are enrolled in them, you will uh, have those classes here. Special Education Building. This is also where the Best Buddies Club happens. Um, yeah, you should join the club. Right here is going to be the cooking room. Unfortunately, I don't think there's going to be much eating uh, in a hybrid learning model, but in a normal year, you'd be able to cook whatever you do and uh, eat it. And over here we have the black box. This is where the drama classes happen. Um, drama is super fun. I've been in drama for four years. So when you get the chance, you should definitely um, join one of the performances or even just take the class. They're all super fun. And then right here, we have the band and orchestra room. So if you're playing any instruments, whether it's string or wind, this is gonna be uh, where you store it and where you go to class. Um, I'm in band. I've been in it for three years. I've also been in the marching band. It is uh, amazing. I love it. Uh, it's a great community. And also, if you are interested in orchestra or any music theater or anything like that, uh, they will also be in these classrooms. So this is the back of choir, but we're going to take you to the front and introduce is the front of the choir room. If you're in choir or if you're interested in choir, you should totally join it because it's super fun and their performances are 100% amazing. If 
we look down these halls right here, these are gonna be the art rooms, the wood shop rooms, and I think also the 3D art design room. And over here, this is the theater. This is where you enter the theater from the back if you are performing in drama, choir, or any other performance. And this room is the green room. So if you're performing, you would get ready in this green room right here, and then it's also connected to the theater. As we make our way back to the quad, here on my right is the ASB room, which stands for the Associated Student Body Room. And the ASB room is uh, the classroom for the main uh, leadership organization on campus. And on my left, here is a bathroom, but also here is the cafeteria. Um, this is where you can enter the cafeteria, where you can eat, brunch, and lunch. And there's also a mezzanine on the top where you can study. And it is also connected to the library on the top where I'll take you right now. Over here, this is the College and Career Center. This is where you'll spend a lot of your time when you're a senior um, with college apps and um, doing all that stuff with Miss Amos. And up top is the library. The library, like I said, is connected to the mezzanine on the top of the cafeteria. You can check out books and you can study in there and even get tutored or become a tutor there. I think that's it. I think that's it as well. All right, so we are taking you back to the quad. This is our favorite place on campus. At lunch, at brunch, people hang out here. And sometimes there's performances right here, sometimes on the stage. Um, fun stuff. Yeah. So yeah. This, this is Cupertino. Cupertino.